Well, hey guys, it is Wednesday evening. Uh, it's about 4.30. I am just in the kitchen. Um, I am making some Trim Healthy Mama macaroni and cheese. I've just been craving kind of like comfort food. Um, the recipe says that you can add chicken into the mix to kind of, you know, be that protein element. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got chicken in the fridge and I've got someone who's out of frame, uh, who keeps popping in. Um, anyways, so, uh, last night was my trip to the ER. Um, I'm feeling quite a lot better today. In fact, I can't go home last night and she was like, oh, you must be exhausted. And actually I was like, and I was like, actually I'm not like, I feel so normal. Like that's the whole thing about this issue is that I feel so normal. So yay for that. Um, but I did take a nap today, hence the like sleepy look and the deflated hair. <laughs> um, but I'm feeling quite, um, quite good. So I'm happy for that. Um, my house is falling around, down around me, falling down around me, whatever. <laughs> um, because I've won strict orders from my family not to do much of anything. So my mother-in-law is actually going to come over tonight and do my dishes and help with my kids, like give them baths and um, uh, I don't know what all. Tidy up, I guess. She's a saint. Like everybody needs a mother-in-law like mine. She's so, so amazing. So um, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your um, kind, kind and encouraging comments on my last few videos. Like I went through the comments today and I was just knocked out by just how encouraging and kind you guys are and so many of you gave me such good perspective um who are in the same trenches as me or who have like been long past this stage of life and are reflecting back on this current stage and telling me girl it's okay like don't have those days and perspective so um i just this community here is incredible and i just really 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 want to thank you guys so um i have to go over and stir my macaroni noodles it's a little bit hard to vlog just because like i mentioned before my camera has to be plugged in um so it's a little bit harder to vlog but um we'll see what the rest of the day unfolds for us but now i gotta i gotta stir some some noodles so they don't stick Okay, so this is how dinner came out. Um, the pasta is not an overly cheesy sauce, which is kind of nice, um, but I use those Dreamfields noodles, which are a healthy, um, carb-friendly noodle. And then I have a big bowl of broccoli for myself as well. Um, the kids have some fruit to go along with their dinner. April, June, and November. All the rest had 31 except February alone, to which we had 28. A sign to leap year gives us 29. Well, hey guys, it's a new day. It is Thursday. Um, we had a good day today. We did school. We started after lunch, which seems to be the norm as of lately. But we kind of get those core subjects done, and we're also doing some electives and stuff, and we're just getting through. We're doing mostly all good and the beautiful curriculum, uh, which is really nice because it's very open and go. And then Aubrey is doing teaching textbooks um, online, so she that's just totally independent for her, which is awesome for mommy. <laughs> um, yeah, so we went to the chiropractor this afternoon, later this late afternoon. Um, they were doing a promotion at the Cairo where kids could get an assessment free in the month of October, which was so awesome because that saves a significant amount having that initial assessment. So I had my appointment and then we also had the kids assessed and wow, it is just kind of really amazing to see um, just the scans and what they're, what the body's doing inside. And he 
they do like this scan, like a heat scan up the spine. Um, and then the Cairo like actually felt their backs and hips and stuff. And you could literally see how Colt's one hip was higher than the other. Um, and then also he was feeling his neck and he's like, wow. He's like, his lymph nodes are really enlarged. And I was like, oh. And he said, is he getting over a cold? And I was like, well, he actually, he has one right now. So, like, that was really interesting to know. And he was talking about how, I don't know, just some different things with the lymph nodes and the draining and different stuff like that. Anyways, and we could see, like, he could press on different parts of Colt. And Colt could feel how it felt different. Um, one side hurt more than the other. So, anyways, it was really interesting. So, we're going to get the kids um, adjusted, which will be... Which will be good because I felt so much better with chiropractic care. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but um, when I started going, uh oh, I got to throw dinner in. Hold on. So <clears throat> when I first went to the chiropractor, they do like an initial assessment where they do a scan, a heat scan of your spine and neck. He also sent me for X-rays. I had never had. Um, like hip and back x-rays before but it was covered so um anyways when the x-rays came back and he read them he asked if I had ever I don't remember if I'd ever been in a car accident or something I'd been in several um but he could tell that my hip at one point had been so bad off that I likely would have been talked to about having surgery so I guess there's like four stages of, I don't know, I don't even know. It's not hip pain, but like four stages of whatever this could be. So at the 75% um, stage, they're likely talking to you about having surgery, like hip surgery. At 100%, you are definitely having surgery. And he could tell from my x-ray that at one point, my hip, that's what it was, my um my hip bones had separated and um, I was at 75% and it blows my mind to think that at one point if I had been seen by a physician or something that they would have talked to me about having surgery. Mind blown, like so crazy. Um, and it had healed itself to 50%. So um, it made so much sense because I did have an instance in high school actually where I helped my dad lift a snowmobile and I should never have been doing that um, and I hurt my I guess my hip I'm um, so bad I couldn't walk but I never really did anything about it I like rolled on a soup can to like try and get mobility back but anyway so chiropractic care has been just amazing for me um, and I felt so much better um, I have I had so long to go that usually it's like a 12 week course and then we had to repeat the 12 weeks and I think I'll be scanned again here fairly soon but initially I was seeing him three times a week I'm down to two times and I'm still a mess but I'm feeling really good um, we got some packages in the mail today this one check this out it's like as big as my viewfinder so this is um, an Erin Condren thing. Hold on, I'm gonna open it for you. So I was editing tonight's vlog and I realized that I never hit record when I unboxed this for you. So I'm gonna share with you what is inside this big ol' Erin Condren box. I apologize for the lighting. It's now 10 o'clock at night, so sorry. <laughs> and it was all so nicely laid out and it's not anymore. Boo! All right, so in the top, they always have some goodies. Um, I got two of these Enjoy stickers. You stick them on a package, two from, and this um, postcard. And then everything was nicely packaged in this beautiful lime green tissue paper. Uh, the first thing I got was these tabbed sticky notes. You get 60 of them. And I was so excited about these. These are a new product. This is how you can use them. You just stick them on the side of your planner or your notebook. You can make a list, and I like that it has the tab that you can write specific things on it. So these were just a couple bucks. Um, I ordered all this. Well, there's only two things in here, um, but I ordered it with a 25% off sale at Erin Condren, and everything was 25% off. 
you could use a $10 off coupon, you could use any credits that you had, it was really awesome. So if you like Erin Condren stuff, I would just really recommend signing up for their, um, for their newsletter um, and you'll get updates about all their promotions and stuff like that because they have quite a few. So I had been eyeballing this metallic calendar for a while, um, probably about a year now actually since it came out. It's so gorgeous. Um, so this is just kind of the cover of it. It's just a calendar, but all of the writing is metallic. It's got this really nice um, section right here. And then, you know, like the little calendar for the month prior, the month before, I don't know, whatever. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like in the back. All the different colors of the months. And then I was really excited. I didn't realize it came with, with stickers. Yes. That's super awesome. So anyways, I'm excited about this. I really would like to actually mount this on my fridge. So I'm going to see how I can jerry-rig that up with probably some magnets and maybe, I don't know, bulldog clips or something. I'm not really quite sure. But anyways, that is what I got in my Air Content order. Okay, so then we got um, some clothes from Carter's. They were having a good sale. Um, I got Colt two pairs of jeans because the kiddo needed jeans. However, when I open this package, they look so long. I'm just not sure that these are gonna fit him. He is, he's really little, um, but the children's place jeans that he was wearing are 4T and they're just getting a teeny bit short. So I thought I'd bump them up to 5T, but they're so huge on the waist, even when I cinch it as far as they'll go, because they have like elastic around um, the waist. But they're so, so big, it just, they look terrible on him. So I might try these on him, see how they fit. I might end up having to take these back, we'll see. I got two packages of undies for Aubrey. She'd be horrified if you she knew you saw them. <laughs> um, and then I got this sleeper for Colt. It has like these Yeti monsters on it. So soft. I love these things. And this is kind of like the last, probably the last year that he'll wear these. And then he needed some more pajamas. So this was uh, a two-pack. And so they're kind of mix and match. But they're these pants with a matching top. And we call him Colty Bear, so <laughs> anything with bears, I'm like, oh yeah, that's him. And then there's the shirt, um, Don't Wake the Bear, with these pants. So we got those, and then, oh yes, friends, I got the kiddos their Christmas jammies. Um, this is Colt set, and these these are fleece. They're so soft. Um, they have these little dogs all over them, so cute. I was not super crazy with a lot of the Christmas jammies that I saw this year, um, but these were the ones I liked the best. And then this one for my little miss, which is so her, because she loves Christmas, and these are so cute. So this is the other set for her. I'm thinking this will be the Christmas jammies, because they're a little bit more... Christmassy and these will all the other ones I'll give her at the beginning of the month, but Yeah, so my tip is get your Christmas jammies now because come December even come the end of November The stores are gonna be sold out of them um, They things go really really quick and it's now at this time of year that they're actually on sale These were all on sale 25% off um I know last year I was Christmas shopping for the kids and I went in December and I was looking for something um, but they they have their um, summer stuff out at that point so get your jammies now if that's important to you. And I can fly. Wow. It has a light. That's amazing. And it has great too. Yeah. Good job bud. Okay, so I think I'm going to probably wrap it up here. Um, I don't want my vlogs to get too, too ridiculously long, and the other ones kind of really were. And there's dinner. A um, couple things I'll leave you with. First, I have a giveaway that's coming. Um, another package that arrived today that will be a giveaway probably, I'm guessing, this upcoming week, but I'm not 100% positive. There's just a little back-end stuff I have to do, but 
a giveaway is coming really soon, which I'm super excited about. Um, I also think I'm going to probably upload a few videos that I have previ previously filmed. Um, I'm thinking I just, I, it's not that I need a break from vlogging because I really haven't been doing a great job of it, but um, I just, I'm not sure what's going to be happening in the next few days if I'm going to have anything really interesting to share. I'm also going to get my vlogging camera charged up because, again, I'm attached to a cord and it's a big heavy camera and it's not suitable for vlogging. The quality isn't that great with my vlogging camera. I'm hoping Santa will bring me a new camera for Christmas. Um, but I think it'll be a lot uh, better than just being stationed all the time. Anyways, so yeah. So if you see some videos from me that seem a little out of place, like grocery hauls and like um, cooking videos and different things like that that aren't vlogs, I've probably filmed them prior. If I look like I'm super busy and all that stuff, I'm not. I'm probably holding down the couch and relaxing and taking it very easy. <laughs> um, Okay, there's dinner again. I gotta go. I hope you guys have a really great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.